Fucking Vietnam, man. It's been a long time since I've made a post, and there's a good reason for that. Ever since finishing up my TESOL certification course in Ho Chi Minh City, life has just been a constant downhill slope to utter hell and chaos here in Vietnam. It has not been a fun ride. Not at all. <sighs> After my course finished, the guys in my class and I, we decided to take a little vacation to Monet, about a week. And it was there that Kate and I decided to drive into Fantiet where we were hoping to get jobs. And we applied at a couple schools, walked in, said hello. And then we got an interview with one of the schools headquartered back in Ho Chi Minh City. So we went back to Ho Chi Minh City. They were going to give us both a job in Ho Chi Minh City and then transfer us. But then somebody quit out here in Fantiet all of a sudden and they gave Kate a job. And it seemed too good to be true. I didn't have a job yet, but we were sure that it'd be fine and no problem. And Kate started work, and it was hell. The school has no concept of organization. They view corporal punishment as the most appropriate method of classroom management. Slapping, hitting kids. When a child doesn't perform well, it is ridiculed. This didn't go so well with Kate, and it was just, uh, it was just terribly trying on her patience, just giving her all kinds of anxiety, and for the first month it was utter hell. And we didn't have a place to live yet, and so we were staying in the hotel that was the cheapest we could find, because we didn't have a paycheck yet either, which had mold and probably gave us both colds, and maybe more, because Kate got really sick one time, but we had to stay there for about a month and it was terrible, and we were both so demoralized, and I tried to get a job at a couple different places, and the schools here are fucking rackets, man. They just, they expect me to work illegally on a tourist visa. They expect me to make $10 an hour or less, working only 20, or only 10 hours a week in one place, as if I could live on that. Just utter ridiculous nonsense. And the way they talked to me, like they just had no respect for me whatsoever. One day they tell me, sure, yeah, we can, uh, if you have all your proper documents in order, we'll, we can uh, assist you in getting a proper work visa. And then when they offer me a job, actually they didn't offer me a job. First they just said, so are you going to start working for us? Uh, can you agree to this, to work? you know, on the clock and on the schedule uh, this Thursday. That was before we even discussed what they were going to pay me. So they just tried to... They just tried to get me to do things without it being legitimately, I don't know, processed and dealt with. They just didn't give me the respect. It was very shady, very... Well, not what I would expect from a job, basically. So I refuse to work for any of the companies here. Kate's been a trooper. She's held in there and has stayed at her job now for almost three months. And we've decided we're going to move to South Korea because the jobs there are much better in terms of giving support to the teachers. They pay for the airfare to and from. And they pay for housing. It's just a way better situation, a way better deal. So, originally we were planning to just stay in Vietnam until we could get the documents required because we had to send for an FBI background check, which takes up to three months. So, we're waiting for that, and then what happens? But I get dengue fever. Fucking A. Dengue fever just killed me. And it took away all patience and all waiting and willingness to stay in this part of the world away for me. I, I just couldn't handle it anymore. And as I was getting better, I decided, fuck this Kate, let's go home. So now we're about a week away from going back to Seattle. The date is something in late February. We're leaving on the 4th of March. And this is checking in and soon to be checking out from Fantiet City. We actually have a place to live now. Apartment. Our friend Tony, the Irish expat, uh, built it and finished it right after the first of the year. 
and we moved in, and it's been better since we were living in that dingy, musty hotel room, but still, it's been difficult to, to be happy here. And so, soon we're leaving. I know there hasn't been a lot of posts, and I know there hasn't been a lot of adventures chronicled like I, saw, like I thought I would, but damn, the environment here is just not for us. So we're getting the fuck out. All right, that's it for now. I'll give you more if there's more. Take care.